brought to you by Fast Pitch TV and sponsored by Three Piece Tea. Here's another episode from the 2015 College World Series. Uh, good evening. At this time, we have Michigan head coach Carol Hutchins, Hutchins, student athlete Sierra Romero, student athlete Haley Wagner, student <coughs> athlete Megan Betza, and student athlete Tierra Blanco. Coach, we'll start with you with general comments about the game. Then we open up for questions. Well, congrats to Florida. <coughs> they uh, they were the best team tonight, and uh, they've been one off in the season, but uh, they just they showed up to come after us and. Uh, that first inning was obviously broke our back. And, uh, you know, we gave them a lot of free bases all night long. Too many. And you can't do that to a team like Florida. They're just – they're too good. They have such great back control. They can bunt it. They can poke it out of the infield. But really, when it comes down to it, you got to say Lauren Hager. She was outstanding. Very deserving of the uh, most outstanding player. And um, I thought she was better than last night. I thought she was on fire. And uh, she definitely took care of business. She she was great tonight, so they're a very deserving champion. As I told my team, I told them yesterday, I told them today, tonight doesn't define our season. Obviously, we would have liked to walk out of here with the other trophy, but this has been a, a great team, fun to coach. They've been very committed to team, very committed to Michigan and to each other. And uh, I'm proud of them. I'm really proud of my seniors. I'm really proud of Haley Wagner. She had her best tournament, the last tournament of the season. She was outstanding. So, great season for Michigan. Very proud of us. <clears throat> All right, we go over to questions. Tyler Scott, Michigan Daily. Coach, after seeing the effort all your student athletes put in all season long, how would you define this team? I think they were a team. I think they're an outstanding team. They worked hard. They came in every day. They did what we asked. Uh, they worked through adversity, and they avoided a lot of <laughs> adversity because they always believed they believed that they were great. And I don't think you can believe you're great unless you have trust, trust in the program, trust, trust in the coaches, and trust in each other. Most importantly, trust in themselves. So uh, they were a great group to coach. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. For the players, uh, Michael Kenny, uh, Norman Transcript, I know it's uh, right after the game, but can you just talk about just how tough this loss is to get to the third game, to get so close, but the fall a little bit short? Let's we'll start with Sierra. Uh, it happens. Um, I can't really be all that mad. I mean, Haley did amazing. All of our seniors did everything that we could have asked them to do. And, you know, I'm proud of this team, so I have nothing to be sad about. Haley. Like Hutch said, this loss doesn't define our season. I mean, we played our hearts out, and we played with the heart and soul that we've been playing for the past few weeks, and Florida's a really great team, and they came out firing right back today, and um, congratulations to them, but this doesn't define us. Um, we're a family, and these people in Team 38 will forever be my best friends and my sisters. Megan. Just like they said, it's tough to lose the last game, but I think the, the returners are going to come back, and we're going to work really hard for next year, but... Um, thanks, all the thanks in the world to the seniors because they did absolutely amazing and we couldn't have asked for anything more. Tier. I mean, you always want to win your last game, but this team has meant so much to me, and I feel like Team 38 is so special, and I feel like Team 39 is going to be great, and our seniors were just amazing this year, and they helped us um, through everything, basically. <laughs> Steve Kornacki, I'm goblue.com. I, I think Haley's already answered this question, but if the other three players could talk about what this team means to you, what what this team meant to you. Tierra. I mean. <coughs> oh, can you repeat the question? If you just express what what this team <coughs> meant to you. What was you, you mentioned that it was special. What what this team meant to you? I mean, they pick us up when we're down. I mean, through anything, just not softball. I mean, not just softball. Everything outside of school. I mean, not. Yeah, okay, sorry. Softball. I love them. They're my family. Period. Well said. Sierra. <laughs> right, Sierra. Um, I'm proud of this team. I mean, they've taught me so much as a player and. I mean, we've stuck together through some hard times, and we've 
<coughs> push through it. And no matter what, we were a family. So I can't be, I couldn't be more proud of them. Good. Megan. Um, just like they both said, you know, we're, I grew really close, especially with the senior class between um, Sarah and Haley and Becca, because we all spend time in the bullpen <coughs> together. And, um, you know, something we really stressed this season was we, and that's something we really embraced. And um, it's going to be really hard to, to watch them go, but we're going to come back next year strong. Jason Kersey from the Oklahoma. And, uh, first for Carol, um, have you ever been part of a game where there were so many hit by pitches? And for Haley, does, did that get frustrating? You were involved in it on both sides. I don't know if I have. Not that I remember. I mean, hit by pitches, they happen. I was two of them today as well. So, I mean, they happen, and it's just part of the game, and you kind of have to get over it. Ted James, Michigan Daily. For, for you, Coach, so many records were set this World Series in terms of attendance and views. What does it mean to you to know that so many people were behind this team, not only in Ann Arbor, but around the country as well? <laughs> Well, we wear Michigan on the front of our chest, and we know that uh, everybody in the Michigan Wolverine Nation was cheering for us, and we have the largest alumni in the country. And I've heard from football people from 1950s and baseball people from the 1960s, and I know how proud the Michigan fans are. And we're really proud of our kids because I think they represented Michigan the way it's supposed to be represented, and they've, they've made Michigan proud. Mark Snyder, Detroit Free Press for Haley. In the first inning, when they were able to get to you, was that a different approach by them tonight or something that changed with you from yesterday? Um, I mean, they definitely came out attacking, and um, they just got a hold of the ball, and I could have spun the ball a little bit more, but, I mean, um, I had to go after them, and they were fighting right back, and they were throwing the same punches as we were. Kevin Santo, Michigan Daily. Megan, you talked so much about how the seniors have helped you this year. Is there something specifically from Haley that you learned that you would like to add to your game the next two years? Um, I think me and Haley taught, taught each other a lot. Um, she taught me how to be strong, how to be a bulldog in the circle, and um, she, she was always there to tell me like what I was doing wrong. And Something that she taught me was that um, I need to play every pitch of the game because I can, I can help whoever's in the circle. And I really took from that, and I really tried, tried to do my best to help her when she's in the circle if I saw anything that I could help her with. <laughs> Angelique Shingelis, Detroit News. Could the, the hitters talk about what Hager did tonight? You didn't get your first hit till the fifth inning. And, and also, Hutch, if you could talk about stranding eight tonight and, and how much that hurt. Sierra. She's a great pitcher, and she came out ready to play. And, I mean, she did awesome. So props to her, and congratulations. I mean, um, as being a pitcher, she – I know exactly what she was doing. She was just coming out and attacking us, and she has a lot of spin on the ball, and she's a really good pitcher, and she deserved that MVP. I mean, just like they said, she did a great job tonight attacking her zone. Um, we hit some balls hard, didn't get through, but we gave it our all. And what was the name of the game? We stranded eight runners. We had a couple days where we got it going, and we just couldn't get the timely hit. You know, Cito hit one hard to right. Went right at him. Um, we went off the game. I think we hit the ball hard and they caught it. So, uh, But it was all Hager tonight, and you have to give her credit because she uh, got better when uh, we got something going. We have time for one more question. Chris Crowder, Michigan Daily. Uh, Haley, being a senior, is there one moment of the season where you're the most proud of this team, and what will you uh, take with you? Most proudest moments right now. Um, I wanted to wear my jersey in Michigan across my chest to the very last possible game, and I got to do that. And I couldn't be more proud of this team and being such a being a part of such an amazing experience and opportunity. And um, I, this may be the last day I get to wear this jersey across my chest, but I'll forever be a Michigan Wolverine. All right, coach, student athletes, thank you. My name's Andrea Durant. I'm a two-time national champion with UCLA, a two-time world champion with the USSA Florida Pride, and a 2008 U.S. silver medalist with Team USA. I believe that the three-piece tee is a great tool, whether you're just starting out playing softball or you're a U.S. Olympian, because everybody needs balance in their swing, because balance is power.